Hi there, this is Khalil Electronics from NDC. So this is my first video of my new series eBasics. Uh, this series is mainly for the people who don't have any electronics background and want to start learning and making things. So I have taken a topic like voltage and current just because you know these uh, two things form the very important part of every electronic circuits and uh, electrical as well. And uh, we hear a lot saying that uh, we get 220 volts uh, in the in our outlet in India basically. And our appliances are rated in the form of 100 watt, 200 watt, 1000 watt, uh, so and so things. So these all these things are linked to uh, basically this voltage and current two topics. So we'll start learning these things and see what uh, these things are. And uh, let me tell you first that you know I won't be going too deep about these things so that you get bored. Or uh, I'll make sure I touch the surface of all the topics and and also that you are uh, enough aware to uh, you know use them in your practical life. So let's start voltage. Uh, but before knowing uh, voltage and current, let's know something called load. So what is a load? Usually we'll uh, represent this by R L, where R stands for the resistor and L is load. It's called a load resistor. So this load resistor can be anything, say for example a bulb, an LED, LED is represented in this symbol, so it can be an LED, a motor, a pump, uh, what else can it be, uh, maybe a display, can be a mobile, a mobile can also be a thing, but yeah, I'm talking about small, small uh, loads. Maybe uh, we'll remove this mobile for now because this is too complicated to understand for a load. So these, any of these can be considered as a load resistor. A load resistor is something which has some resistance and uh, consumes some current. That's what we call a load resistor, which can convert this electrical energy into other forms of energy, maybe light, maybe physical motion, maybe motion of water or again a light something like that that is called a load resistor RL so we will be, we'll be using this a lot in explaining uh, things in electronics so we'll use uh, so that's why I have explained about load resistor before uh, going into uh, actual topics so that is load resistor so yeah voltage can be considered as uh, say consider a conductor I'm just uh, magnifying the things for you just to explain. So this is a conductor or it can be a wire, uh, maybe a copper wire, aluminum wire, whatever it is. So consider a conductor like this and electrons. I hope you know what is electrons. Electron is something like a charged particle. It's a negatively charged particle. Okay, so whenever uh, we talk about current and uh, voltage, we'll usually be discussing with electrons. This is a negatively charged particle. So a conductor has multiple electrons in it. So these will be flowing through the conductor. Okay, so when will they flow is when I connect a battery here. Okay, so the conductors, uh, sorry, the electrons will flow through the conductor only when there's a battery in it. So what this battery will do is, this battery will be pushing electrons through the conductor. This pushing of electrons and the like the amount of electrons pushed is something we will say as voltage or potential. We can say potential or potential energy, something like that. So the amount of electrons pushed through a conductor is voltage, and the rate at which they move inside the conductor is current. Okay, uh, let me put it in a simpler way. Uh, instead of in electronics manner, I'll just put it generically. Let me take a road. Okay, say a uh, highway. Okay, so consider this is a highway or a just plain road, and there are three vehicles traveling in this. Three bikes traveling along a road. Then what we can say is. Uh, the number of vehicles traveling through the road can be told as voltage and the speed at which these vehicles are traveling on the road is current. So say for example, three bikes 
are traveling at a rate of 50 km per hour. Then this can be said as voltage and this can be said as current. So don't uh, the, so, so this voltage and current are not in a realistic way. I'm just explaining you the motion in, of electrons in the conductor on basis of a highway example. Okay. So this is what we can say as the current and the voltage. Okay. So what kills humans? So we'll take the same old example of highway, and we'll take this as a road, a highway with two vehicles. Same example, highway. Okay, so let's start like this. Three vehicles are traveling at five kilometers per hour. Three vehicles. So three vehicles at five kilometers per hour. Okay, uh, they're traveling a distance of say 10 kilometers at five kilometers per hour. Will they die? Is there a chance of accidents happening? Is the question. Yes, there's a chance of accidents happening considering there's a overcrowding. But there are only three vehicles and there's rarely a chance that, you know, practically speaking, there is no chance that they might meet into an accident with each other considering the speed is only 5 km per hour. That's like that slow. Okay, but what if I make it 50 km per hour? That is kind of fast okay that's not too fast but yeah that's an average speed there is little chance of accidents in that case they might slip on the road or they might dash each other uh, collisions might happen and they might die what if i make it 150 kilometers per hour that is kind of a little dangerous because yeah 150 kilometers per hour is quite fast and that might uh, kill these people so clearly their current is the one which kills what if I make it, uh, I again make it 5 km per hour. Now, can you guess the voltage? Say I made it, uh, I guess I can make it 300 volts. Or oh, let's start with that. Let's make it 300. And so, 300 volts at 5 km per hour. So there will be many people here, it will be overcrowding. Okay, so there are 300 people, 300 vehicles traveling at 5 km per hour. Will that kill anyone? That might damage people because of the overcrowding or something because they might get fall or dash each other but because considering the speed of the vehicles 5 km per hour that is quite slow so they may not die but yes they might get a little hurt. So next is we'll take one vehicle one vehicle and again the same speed 150 km per hour again that is dangerous because as I said, more current, right? So the vehicle, one vehicle, one vehicle will be traveling at 150 kilometers per hour. That's quite fast. The person might slip and fall and hurt himself or even die. So in this example, consider in this example, the speed really kills. That means the current is the one which kills. Let's consider the same thing in the conductor. So take a wire, conductor, and I'll say first I will give one volt at one amp. One volt at one amp. Considering the voltage, at such low voltage, it might not be so dangerous for human to touch because one volt won't cause anything if you touch it. DC, say for example, we work only with DC now. I'll tell you what is DC and AC later. So 1 amp, but I would have dangerous. 10 volts, 1 amp. It's a little dangerous considering heating and other problems, but yes, it won't kill people. <laughs> considering 10 amps at 10, sorry, 10 volts at 10 amps. That again is a little dangerous because this of current. Because of this current, 10 amps, it might cause heating and other problems and burn you. Same thing again I take at 100 volts 
at 0.1 amp dc that is dangerous not because of the voltage but because of the current yes uh, 0.1 amps is like 100 milliamps and as per scientists 100 milliamps is enough to kill a person that is actually more than enough to kill a person but if you make this 10 volts that might not hurt because of the resistance of the body this potential is something which won't pass through our body so it might not kill us but 100 volts will kill us 100 volts at say 1 milliamp that's kind of not dangerous I don't think 1 milliamp is will hurt anything but if you take 100 volts at 10 milliamps or say 10 amps 10 amps at 100 volts that is 1000 watt considering what equals to volt into current uh, current is represented by I and what is with V this is in volts V and this is in amps A so V into I that is 1000 watt which is again quite dangerous and can kill people okay so 1000 watt is quite dangerous uh, considering the other, our old example, if you take low voltage at high speed, that will still kill people because of the heating or the problems might be there. But more, more voltage with very less current, that is not so dangerous. But yeah, considering this is very, very less current. Okay. And next, what is DC and AC voltage? That is. DC and AC will tell the difference. So DC means direct current and AC is alternating. So as the name suggests alternating that means the no voltage will be uh, changing. So if you see this is the time axis, time along the x-axis and voltage across y-axis you can see that the voltage changes continuously with time this is something called alternating uh, voltage or alternating current and consider direct current for the direct current considering time again and voltage this is constant say 5 volts peak is 5 it will be 5 volts that is direct and alternating current so Whatever we get in our main supply is usually alternating current because they say that you know alternating current uh, can travel longer distances with very less loss. So that's why we use alternating current in the, uh, our supply. But considering our mobiles and the batteries and other things, they usually have DC current because battery cannot store uh, alternating current. It can only store DC current. So these are the few basic things which I felt are important parts of voltage and current. If anything else is there, I'll be sharing you a few more details in the next videos of uh, maybe components. So from next video, I'm thinking of starting uh, basics of the components, starting from the diode, then resistors and other stuff. I have already made for potentiometer. I don't think I have anything else to add for that. If possible, I'll be making one more video if I feel that uh, there's something else missing in that video. So uh, that's all for today. Uh, I hope you like the video. If you like it, just give a thumbs up and share the video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel. Uh, there are many, many more videos to come in the uh, future. So, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.